Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us. Today we're going to talk about reintroducing tape to the backup process. Uh, I've drawn up here uh, a typical kind of backup architecture. So these are servers out here. And then I've got a backup server right here. And then I've got the primary target that we tend to see nowadays, which is disk backup. Now, technologies like deduplication and compression have made disk as a, as a backup medium uh, very, very popular. In fact, many data centers have, it is the exclusive medium uh, nowadays in the backup process. And even getting data offsite, uh, thanks to deduplication and compression, has been made more practical. So I can replicate data to an offsite facility or maybe even uh, the cloud in some cases. But if you look at this, what we're doing now and what we're seeing start to have happen as a result is the size of the, the secondary storage uh, repository is about 10x the total production storage that's out here. Now, the, the ramification of that is you end up needing almost an entire data center just to store backup data. Uh, most organizations tend to keep their backups for somewhere between five to seven years, but most recoveries of data uh, happen in the first uh, 10 days of the backup actually occurring. Almost 95% of recoveries uh, come from the most recent backup and then it dec decays very, very quickly after that. So we're storing a lot of data on disk that will never be accessed again. Uh, and it's always there just in case. And certainly there's good reasons to uh, restore data there. But it really causes the problem as we start to try to figure out what do we want to do from a backup perspective. So the advantage of tape is I can reintroduce tape into the backup process. It gives me a lot of advantages. Number one, uh, it is less expensive. Uh, number two, it is more dense. And then number three, it's more transportable. Right, so let's talk about those. From a cost perspective, there's literally no denying that tape is a less expensive medium, uh, even the, less expensive than the cloud. Uh, from a density perspective, we can fit uh, terabytes of data on a, on a per cartridge basis, so uh, the ability to keep that there. Uh, another one that I forgot to mention is uh, density and power. So uh, the tape only uses, the tape drive only uses power when it's actually writing data. Uh, to it or primarily. Uh, data Tape obviously on a shelf doesn't use any power at all. And from a transportab transportability standpoint, uh, all those terabytes of data that I have on a single cartridge can be uh, FedExed anywhere I need to in the world. So it gives me a lot of advantages. Now obviously the downside and one of the reasons that people want to disk as their primary backup means is that uh, single file recoveries and, and things like that are relatively slow on tape. Um, but again, remember, we're retaining data for five to seven years and most recoveries are going to happen within 10 days of the backup occurring. Why not send your backups to disk first like you normally do, but then over time take those old backups and move them to tape and let them stay there? Uh, that, this helps you in a couple of areas. Number one, the size of this disk backup now can be reduced substantially, at least by 50%, probably closer to an 80% reduction in uh, total disk capacity requirements. Number two, uh, moving this data to tape gets it on two different types of media uh, legitimately, so that if there is some sort of infection, like a ransomware attack or something like that, it crossing over to tape is going to be relatively um, hard to do. Uh, so th those are some real big advantages. And the, the biggest one, though, is, again, the recovery is probably going to happen within 10 days. Uh, so the speed importance from disk, that's all going to be covered right there. Recoveries that are outside of that 10-day window, certainly they have to be serviced in a reasonable amount of time. We can't take weeks to recover data. But with tape, even if the tape's not inside the library, if it had to be shipped in or whatever, you're still going to be able to recover within hours or, or in the case of shipping a tape in, maybe a day. So you can generally fulfill most reasonable requests for data. So again, we, we strongly think that using tape as part of the backup process 
makes sense. Uh, it, I, I almost don't even want to say makes sense again. It always made sense. We probably went too far the other direction. Reintroducing tape to the backup process allows us to really bring down the price of disk backup and gives us some density, uh, gives us some better transportability, and gives us sort of some genetic diversity between disk and tape media. So IT professionals really need to relook at their backup architectures uh, and try to shrink the size of their disk backups and start reinvesting in tape. I'm George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us.